Okay, this is creating something two-dimensional in Repose in Photoshop CS5. Here we go. Um, basically what I have here is a, a two-dimensional bag silhouette, if you will, with a mask on it. So um, there's the mask selected, and there's the actual object, okay? background no big deal so after you uh, what I always do is I do a uh, do a mask of the shape so that way everything around it is black okay and then uh, go up to 3d repose layer mask Yeah, I got a slow computer. Alright, and now once this dialog window pops up, you'll see there are several options here to choose from. Uh, some of these are crazy looking. But I'm just going to go, since it's a bag and I want it to look like a bag, I'm going to go with this guy right here, which is Inflate. So I'll select Inflate, and then I will wait for Mr. Rainbow to go away. All right, so once I hit inflate, then you can see something changed here. Uh, I changed my depth to zero because I think uh, I think it looks a little better. Well, here, let me show you why. If you put it at one, give it a sec. If you put it at one, If you put it at one and you rotate this guy to see the side of him, it doesn't look like a bag of chips from the side. So you want to change your depth to zero. And that solves the problem. Uh, we don't have to worry about it. And then for strength, I put it at 0 0.025 just because if you put it in anything bigger than that and then and you have like a label or whatever it'll start distorting the logos and text too much so if you put it at point zero two five that's good everything else I leave default but you can control all the different sides so, uh, this is everything that's the front bevel one bevel two back and sides so I hit OK and there we go we have ourselves a three-dimensional bag and if you want to and if you want to you can rotate it and do everything you would be able to in 3d studio max or my or whatever well not everything but it's like here you got a uh, different sets of tools you can scale it slide it pan roll and rotate so uh, you can see here that you can rotate this dude three-dimensionally and the lighting automatically adjusts. It's pretty cool. The only thing is that you can't you can't go all the way to the round of the back because it doesn't really know what's on the back. Other than that, you're good to go. And if you want to, you can rotate it using this tool, which is great. <laughs> 